Hello everyone, welcome back to our digital VLSI channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I am going to discuss about implementation of a 2 cross 1 multiplexer, circuit implementation, designing Verilog code for the 2 cross 1 multiplexer and test bench explanation. Now let's see what is multiplexer. A multiplexer is a combinational circuit that connects any one input line to the output based on the selection line. Usually for n selection lines, there are 2 power n input lines. So here n determines the number of selection lines. So we can write it as 2 power n is to 1. Suppose if n is equal to 1, so 2 power 1 is to 1. Here 1 is selection line. Two is the input lines and here one is the output line. And this is the black diagram of uh, two cross one multiplexers uh, where uh, I0 and uh, I1 are the inputs and Y is the output, SEL is the selection input. Now let's draw the truth table. So S is the selection input and Y is the output. Suppose if S is equal to 0, I0 is connected to Y. So S is equal to 0, I0 is connected to Y. If S is equal to 1, I1 is connected to output. And this is a truth table. From this truth table, we can write logical expression as y is equal to s bar into i0 plus s into i1. So, if s is equal to 0, so i0 is connected to uh, connected to y. If s is equal to 1, I1 is connected to Y. And this is the output expression for 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Now let's draw the hardware circuit. Here S is the selection input and I0, I1 are the two inputs. And this is the S bar. This is the I0, I1. Now I am connecting S bar and I0. Connect, I am connecting to the AND gate. And S and I1 connecting to the another AND gate. And these two AND gate I'm connecting to the R gate and this is the hardware circuit yeah this is about um, um, brief explanation of 2 cross 1 multiplexer now I'm going to show you how to write Verilog code for 2 cross 1 multiplexer by using data flow modeling first let's start with module MUX 2 cross 1. What are the inputs? Input I0, comma I1, comma S. Output Y. Since this is a data flow style, one is supposed to use assign statement. Assign Y is equal to I1, I0. Here I am using a ternary operator for the output y. The operator question mark uh, means that the output uh, becomes i1 if s is equal to, if s is true. Otherwise i0 is the final output. And then finally end with end module. With this our design code is done. Now let's move on to the test bench. Module TB. Here inputs as regs, outputs as wires. Reg 
i0, i1, s wire y. Now we need to instantiate our design module to the test module marks underscore 2 cross 1 instance name dut i0, i1, s, y. Now we need to supply all the inputs in the initial block. S is equal to 0, comma I, I0 is equal to 0, I1 is equal to 1. Here I am giving ash 5 time delay. For printing those values, I am using dollar display. S is equal to percentage B, comma I0 is equal to percentage B, comma I1 is equal to percentage b comma y is equal to percentage b s comma i0 comma i1 comma y so s is equal to 1 i am giving and finally end end module Yeah, with this code, we can simulate the circuit and test its functionality. So we have to select the tool. Now let's run the code. As you can see, the circuit outputs y is equal to i0 when s is equal to 0, y is equal to i1 when s is equal to 1. Yeah, that's it guys. I hope you guys understood the concept clearly. If you have any doubts, please comment down below. And thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more interesting videos. Thank you.